Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I should be covering the robberies of the bank robber the FBI has dubbed the Piggy Bank Bandit. The FBI surmised that the bandit hit their first bank in December 2020 when they robbed a bank in Tempe, Arizona. Since that date, they have attributed five more banks to the bandit's statistics. All six bank robberies occurred in Arizona, with two of them being committed on the same day. The FBI are seeking the white, 5'6 to 5'8 suspect, presumably aged between 25 and 35. The bandit conceals their identity with a face mask, black trimmed glasses and a cap or beanie. They have a tattoo on their neck, which makes you question whether it is a 200 IQ play on the bandit's part, intentionally presenting a fake tattoo to fool the authorities, or if the bandit is unaware that it is on display and it is a real tattoo. A strange and confusing detail is uncovering the actual gender of the bandit, which evidently plays into the piggy bank bandit's favour. Some argue that it is a man, yet others go against this claim. This makes the bandit an anomaly when it comes to bank robbers, the vast majority being easily recognisable when it comes to identifying their gender. On arriving at a bank, the bandit reaches the teller counter and hands over a note implying that they have a concealed weapon and want money. The teller complies with the demand for money and then the bandit exits the bank and disappears on foot. In their first bank robbery, the teller gave the bandit coin rolls. As a result, the bandit was labelled with the nickname. At the time of this video, the bandit has targeted and been successful in three December 2020 robberies and three robberies in February 2021. No other known bank robberies have been connected to the piggy bank bandit at this time. Has the bandit stored away the money and stopped robbing banks? In 2021, the Phoenix area had a 26% increase in bank robberies since 2020, with the piggy bank bandit partly to blame. Two other serial bank robbers, one being the back again bandit, were operating in the area at the same time. Both of them are now behind bars. Still free, and with no known activity since the final sighting on the 26th of February 2021, the piggy bank bandit mystery is unlikely to be resolved unless the bandit decides to go forth with another robbery. The contrast in beliefs on the bandit's gender and struggle to identify them really makes this bandit difficult for authorities to unmask. Plus, given the mask mandates, how can you identify someone when everyone is forced to wear a mask? What are your thoughts on the piggy bank bandit? Be sure to comment below. As always, thanks for watching.